We are halfway through September, if you can believe it, but don't worry, there are plenty of live concerts for you to go to between now and the end of the month. Amzel Ponty, Hello. music writer for the I Portland Press Herald. It's very satisfying to have a stack of papers <laughs> to do the whole Walter Cron Cronkite I thing. Love it. I love it. You're and, ready to go uh, this I'm, week with our shows. I'm ready. Okay. Let's go. Where are we starting? Well, I figure any reason to like drive up the mid coast, stop at Moody's for a slice of pie, yeah. and then make your way to the Strand in Rockland. It's a beautiful thing. It just so happens that tomorrow night you can see Kaleida and Super Yamba Band. <laughs> Kaleida is a superstar in Afrobeat, and this is going to be a blast. Like, look, I don't know everything you need to know about this band, but I watched a couple YouTube clips, and, and they've played in Maine before. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a blast, and it's in Rockland, with or without a stop at Moody's. Guaranteed fun. The Strand is a, a lovely historic theater. I haven't been there in a while, but I'm going there in October for a thing. Story for another day. But yeah, Friday night, solid plan in Rockland. Love it. See you on the way in the show. I'll be tighter going it's all forward. Good. No, no, all good. All no, right, so because we do, we have we have a long list. So we have five <laughs> shows. All right, so next is uh, Vigorous Tenderness, a fall equinox concert. Yeah, Just so perfect this for this, time of year. this whole project was born in the pandemic. So four times a year, on the four solstices, or right as close to as possible. There are these wonderful roaming outdoor shows. So you go to a beautiful place. In this case, it's Royal River Park in Yarmouth. And there's a sliding scale donation. And you see chamber music performed in outdoors in different spots as you walk along this trail. Oh, nice. Absolutely scenic. And you'll hear uh, mostly the pieces played are ones that are marginalized, are, are amplifying marginalized voices in classical music. Yeah. And so it's got kind of an experimental edge to it, and it, it's just wonderful. I've gone to several of these, yeah. and it's uh, such a wonderful experience. And trust me, and this one is actually, most of these trails are, are paved and wide, uh, making them uh, fairly accessible for wheelchairs and other nice. mobility devices. So yeah, wonderful Saturday afternoon. Super mm -hmm. unique experience mm -hmm. that everybody can enjoy. Yep. Love it. All right, and next then on later that night, <laughs> Lay Lamb. Right, so you the do the vigorous counts. tenderness. You go home, you take a little disco nap, you have a little food, maybe your leftovers from Moody's from the day before, Correct. and you head to the State Theater. Be mm -hmm. still my beating heart. Ellie Spaltrow, better known as Lady Lamb. And by the way, opening is the duo form of Dead Gowns. And Jean V.F. Bowden is one of the greatest singers in the state of Maine. Saturday Night State Theater. So Lady Lamb is celebrating the 10 year anniversary of her Ripely Pine yes. album. Yeah, and she's going to play the whole album. There's going to be 11 musicians on stage. She's going to play some other stuff. It is going to be awesome. I'm so down. Had we crashed into the ocean? Had we I love it. I love 100%. it. All right. And then we're not done because you've no, got shows sure. on Sunday too. So Clannad. So that's Clannad. Also state like, and I haven't bought a ticket, but I feel like I, I might cave because yeah. what an ethereal. Uh, I didn't know they've been around for 50 years. Wow. 50 years. That's a milestone. And uh, it's Moya Brennan and uh, her brothers and you know, Enya, one of the siblings. She was part of the band in the early days. Oh, yes. But their song that I, I really touches me, um, which was kind of a hit for them, it's called Harry's Game. And oh, no. you two fanatics out there are going to know the song because at the beginning of the live from Red Rocks U2 video you hear Harry's game from Clannad and, and Bono did a duet called In a Lifetime with Clannad many years ago but they've got a bunch of, of albums out and this is their farewell tour and I think it's a very fitting farewell at the state their 50 year history some of the uh, forming original uh, people have passed away but you know um, Moya Brennan a vocalist she's in her 60s now it's just I just watched a fresh clip still such a, a lovely vocalist I think this is going to be absolutely uh, mesmerizing love it I love it and all then right one more, and last one but more. not least listen I will right. let I will let you, you take know, Ron, this one away Ron would be giving me this the stink eye right now but I'm gonna because <laughs> it's only like one of my absolute shortlist top 10 favorite all-time singer songwriters Go. no big deal all right so uh, Friday September 29th at one Longfellow Square Jonathan Brooke She's got a bunch of albums. She got her start with the story, and she, through all these years, just w what a songwriter. And she's got this kind of like this catch in her voice that just makes your heart melt. Could you see it? Make me and believe what I see. Could you listen and remember that I love you, you, you only? 
and she's charming and funny, and I, she can do no wrong. So I'll definitely be there. And yeah. I just want to. In bold, it says one of my absolute favorite singer-songwriters on, on the, on the so planet. So Angel is not kidding. This All right, is, and that, and again, as I always like to tell people, that this is just a snapshot. Exactly. There are so many other shows all over the place. Go, go see live music. Just get out there. All right. Thank and have you. some pie. Exactly. Cheers to that, Angel. See you in a couple of weeks. <laughs> if you want to read more about these shows, just head to the 207 section of our website and app, and don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.